Hi everyone. So as you can see, I'm in my um, studio, what's it called? The Silhouette Studio <laughs> Designer Edition. Um, because I wanted to do a really quick video to show you how you can save your um, Silhouette Studio files as a JPEG or a PDF if you wanted to. Um, there's all kinds of reasons why you may or may not want to do this if you wanted to open your um, studio file or your SVG in Adobe uh, Photoshop or PaintShop Pro or whatever. I don't know why. All I know is that there are people who want to do this. I was one of them a few days ago. And so um, I found a program that allows you to do this, so I thought I would share the information with you guys. Now this program is very handy. It's not just um, for people who use um, you know, cutting machines and everything, but it can come in handy in a lot of uh, instances. Anything that you can send to printer, you can save as a PDF or a JPEG. So let me just start by showing you here. All I've created here is a whole bunch of labels uh, really quick. And over here, I filled them in with some color. Now let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to apply some dingbats and uh, like, like, uh, like font dingbats. Um, and I wanted to use my whatever, let's just say, okay, <laughs> that I wanted to open them up in Photoshop and I wanted to alter them for whatever reason. But I can't because in Silhouette Studio, you can only save as a .studio file, which can only be opened in Silhouette Studio or maybe in Make a Cut or, you know, Shortcuts a lot. I don't know. I don't have those programs, but I digress. So let's say you wanted to take your freshly created labels and you wanted to save them um, as a JPEG or even a PDF for that matter. Let's say you wanted to, you know, share, share the love. I don't know. But the program that I am going to link you to is called Bullzip PDF Printer. Now I'm going to provide two links in the description box below. One link is going to be called Download Link. And when you click that link, it's going to pop open the download right away and it's going to ask you to save the file wherever you want. Um, the reason that I'm, I'm providing a direct link is because it's a little tricky to find on the page. So I thought I would make it easier for you guys and just provide you the direct link. Now I will also provide the page where I got the link, which I will label um, Bullzip PDF Printer page, and then I'll provide the link. But because you're downloading the free version, they make it a little, there are licensed paid versions. So they make it a little bit harder to find the free version on the page. They kind of bury it a little bit. And sometimes some people can have a hard time finding those things. So just to make it a little easier, I'll provide both links. I'll provide the original page because, you know, just so, so you guys aren't downloading anything. <laughs> I could be a crazy person. I might be. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to save the Bullzip PDF printer program to your desktop or wherever you like. And then to install it, you're going to double click and hit run. I know you all know this, but there's a reason I'm going through this. Select your language. Um, accept the terms. Yes, yes, yes. Now, when you get to this page, it said dependencies. The setup program can download and install the dependencies automatically. You need to install the dependencies for the program to work. Now, I didn't even read this because I automatically uncheck everything when I'm installing something um, because a, a, that's how they hide spam on your computer. They, they, as you're going through, a lot of people will just click next, 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 next without reading. And next thing you know, your browser's changed to like, I don't know, Bing or something weird. So I just automatically unchecked everything and then went on. Well, then the program didn't work. So you do need to keep these three things checked and install them in order for Bullzip to work. So it's, it's fine. I did it. My computer hasn't blown up or anything. Um, I did just reformat this computer uh, prior to installing Bullzip. It has nothing to do with that. Um, so I actually don't even have a printer installed on here, and I'll explain why that matters later. So then you would just go ahead and click Next and install the program. Now back in Silhouette Studio, you've finished your labels, in this case, just for the sake of the video, and you want to save them as a JPEG. What you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to, not that. You're going to go to this little button up here and send to printer and you're going to click that. 
and then your regular printer window is going to open. This is after you've installed Bullzip. So Bullzip will show up here as a printer. It will um, install itself and set itself as your default printer. Um, don't worry about that. It's not going to hurt your original printer or remove it or anything like that. Your regular printer will be right here on this list and you can always set that back to your default printer very easily. Um, I don't have a printer installed on this computer as I mentioned so Bullzip is right here and it is the default. So all I'm going to do is click print. Now what's going to happen is it's going to send the information to the Bullzip program and that's going to open up a separate window where you can select your uh, preferences for your JPEG. So here's the Bullzip PDF printer window. Now you don't need to change anything on any of the other tabs. Um, there are other tabs. You can, you know, go look freely amongst them, but there's no need. So what I'm going to do is, here's where you select your format. And the, you can save it as a bump file, a JPEG, a PDF, a ping, um, amongst these other files here as well. But I'm going to select JPEG for the sake of this video. And then under file name, you're going to click these three dots here and you're going to select a folder where you want to save your um, document. So I'm going to name these, let's just pretend, labels one you know I already did this so and save and it's gonna say yeah replace it and then I'm just gonna click save now if you went to these other windows there's like a uh, resolution and automatically you would think oh let's change it to a higher resolution well you can't because if you do it's gonna tell you that you need a licensed version you're using features that only come in the paid version and since we don't have the paid version we're just gonna leave everything set the way that it is and we're gonna click save in the bottom right hand corner you can see this little red window here spinning and all it says is creating JPEG file. When the JPEG is finished being created the picture will automatically pop open and you'll be able to see what it looks like and it's gonna it stops spinning so there we go. So here's our labels created and saved now as a JPEG and we can open them in our uh, Photoshop or our PaintShop Pro, whatever we want to open them in and alter them and do whatever and then um, now we can open them in Silhouette Studio as a JPEG if we want to. So if I go over here and find my JPEGs folder, oh of course I gotta go to all files or I can just go to JPEGs I guess and there's our labels nicely right there created as a JPEG. So um, again you can also save it as a PDF it doesn't or you know the other file types. So there's lots of reasons why this could come in handy um, for people using the silhouette. I'm not sure if it would work with the Cricut. Uh, they have a program too that they use but I sold my Cricut so I have no idea. But there are lots of other instances where saving your um, file as a PDF or a JPEG in other programs that don't allow you to, um, the Bullzip PDF printer could really come in handy. So I thought I would do this video and share this information since I came across this problem and was able to find the program and solve it that maybe somebody else down the line uh, using the silhouette may want to save their .studio files or their SVG as a JPEG as well and this information might be useful. So hopefully this video helped you and if you liked it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all please feel free to ask below and I will be happy to answer them. As of now, I have been unable to find a program. Um, there is not a Bullzip program available for a Mac. Uh, this, my, this computer I'm working on is an older computer. Um, it's 32-bit, so I'm going to um, put in an annotation on the screen somewhere if there's any um, restrictions for Windows users. As far as I know, right now, as of making this video, the Bullzip program is compatible with um, Windows Vista, XP, um, all the way up to Windows 8, 6, 32, 64-bit. Um, there was only one download link that I could see. So again, you are free to check out the page. I will put all the information in the description box below that I feel is pertinent or in an annotation right here if you can't, um, if there's restrictions to certain Windows programs, etc. But I don't think there is. 
So hopefully you download and try the program out and enjoy it. And um, just for the sake of, uh, you know, legalities, if your computer blows up, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.